Welcome to the Be Well Buzz podcast, your number one weekly source for natural health and wellness. Welcome to the Be Well Buzz podcast. This is your resident nutritionist, Sean Stevenson. Today I've got some news for you about one of the most important nutrients to human health that reports are showing up to 80 to 90% of the United States population is deficient in it. The Journal of Critical Care revealed a study that showed that if you're deficient in this mineral, then you're twice as likely to die. But on the other side, a double-blind, placebo-controlled study published in the British Journal of Nutrition actually showed that people who took the recommended amount of this mineral every single day achieved both systolic and diastolic blood pressure reduction. There was another fascinating study that I came across that showed that in 15 years, it was a 15-year study with 5,000 people, and they found that the higher intake of this mineral through food and supplements led to a lower likelihood of developing metabolic syndrome. And the things that are connected with metabolic syndrome are things like visceral obesity, so a lot of that belly fat, a very, very difficult time and a blatant inability to lose weight, period, is also connected to metabolic syndrome, chronic fatigue, and then high blood pressure, insulin resistance, and all manner of things that we don't want to associate ourselves with. Now, minerals are essentially the earth element. It's a big construct of what gives you your physicality. It's what people see when they see you or the lack thereof. And not only does it have that physicality, it also plays a large role in many different biological processes that our body is taking on. And this is why it's so critical for us to understand. And because of that, we brought on an absolute expert in this field. And today we have on for you an exclusive interview with Ian Clark, who's the managing director of Activation Products. And one of the big foundational products that he's brought forth into our culture is the Oceans Alive Marine Phytoplankton. He's actually traveled all over the world gathering crucial health information and products from the world's top research and development teams. He's been, he's been able to acquire valuable content in every area of human health with connections to top-level experts in every single category to support the ongoing cutting-edge information we all need to advance. So I'd like to welcome Ian Clark to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Well, Ian... I'm going to let the cat out of the bag now and tell everybody what this mineral is, and it's magnesium. Magnesium is the, the word of the day. This is so critical, and we just want to jump right into it, Ian. Can you please share with us, you know, it's a big issue with deficiency, obviously. What are some of the reasons that people can become deficient in magnesium? Well, there's many reasons why people are deficient on their, just by default, uh, first of all, in the last 50 years, the foods that would traditionally supply magnesium to the body have become depleted in many minerals. One of them is magnesium. And many studies were commenced about starting 40 years ago, literally thousands of studies into magnesium and its effect and how it works in the body and what happens if there's deficiencies. So... Uh, became more and more known in certain circles that magnesium had to be supplemented one way or another. Uh, one of the things that you'll see uh, nails magnesium to use it up quick is stress. So when people are under stress, which we live in an environment where people are snapped into sympathetic stress and often stay there for periods of time, or if they have to use their brain extensively, where this is the mind age where your people are sitting at computers a lot of time, and they're also having many demands upon them. The more everything became automated around us, the more was demanded of us to get done in a day, and people end up juggling a lot of things, their cell phones ringing, their Skype messages, their, their uh, you know, iMessage, whatever is happening, they're being pulled on more than ever, and that adds to the whole stress factor. So the more you use your brain... The more stress you're under, the more magnesium you burn, because magnesium is a fuel uh, rather than just a resident element, and it does you know, reside in the body, in the bones, uh, in the uh, digestive tract, and so on, in the tissues of the body, but it is being used as a fuel. So the blood needs magnesium 
levels to be constant in order to supply all the cofactors to enzymatic processes and things. And so it gets used up a lot more in this society we live in than ever before. So if a person is not consciously adding it into the body more than normal because they're not getting enough in the food and they are under stress, then they become depleted. And multiple signs of magnesium deficiency will begin showing up. And that's really uh, what's going on. Okay. Well, why? You just mentioned that it's not showing up in the food. Why is that? Why is it not showing up in the food? Well, the main reason is the monocrop uh, agribusiness production of food today. Mm -hmm. uh, if a person is more conscious to eat higher chlorophyll containing foods, green foods, and so on, they're going to get more magnesium than the average person, which is definitely the best way to go as far as receiving it orally. People that are taking magnesium supplements are putting themselves in danger because, unfortunately, people have, uh, have realized this need for magnesium in the society, so they ran out to buy the cheapest materials they could find and produce a magnesium product to be taken orally, which does little to no good and often is far more harmful than doing a benefit. So this is, this is something that people are just, in general, finding a problem with. You know, um, I, I just asked about some of the reasons that people become deficient in magnesium, and this is so critical, but it's hard for people to kind of wrap their minds around this, that stress can actually pull this from your system. Just on that note, stress is really, it's not that stress is pulling it from the system, it's, it's using it, it's burning it, it needs right. it. Okay. Uh, the body, you know, the brain needs magnesium to, to function well. So when people are under stress, their brain is working overtime, and their nervous system is also working overtime. You know, they're running from the tiger under sympathetic stress. So right. you are going to be burning fuel in that, and one of the major fuels is magnesium. Got it. So stress is one thing. I also have found that utilizing some of these stimulants, these, quote, false stimulants that people are using today, can you share anything about that? Things like, you know, caffeine and these energy drinks and that making people deficient in magnesium? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, again, adding to the overall stress picture because if you're, if you're tired, <clears throat> your brain is actually telling you, hey, you, you know what, you need to get some rest or you need to slow down a little bit. You need to go and relax. Get yourself into parasympathetic. Get the, the autonomic nervous system into parasympathetic and begin, you know, going through the regeneration process. And if people don't do that, uh, then what they do do is turn to things like you said, caffeine. There's many different types of stimulants out there. Uh, I prefer to stay over into the tonic realm as much as possible to build up the energies you know, on that end of it. I do occasionally use stimulants, so I, I've experienced uh, those things. You know, I like yerba mate once in a while if I really have to get something done uh, if I am tired. But really that's not a good idea because you're, you're telling your brain, oh, no, everything's good. You know, I mean, I've got lots of energy. I don't need rest. And so you click into that high energy field when you really shouldn't be. So that's going to burn the magnesium like like fire. And you know, may, you know, have you ever seen magnesium burn? No, I haven't. No. Well, it is it is beyond intense. I have a friend who owns a company that fixes rims. He figured out how to do that in, on mass. And he said one time he got an old rim that was actually made from magnesium. You know, they they used to call them mag mag wheels because they were made of right. magnesium. They, they stopped doing that for a good reason. Anyway, he would turn these things on the lathe and so he, to reshape them if they were damaged after he made them round again. He put it on the lathe and it lit on fire, and when it did, they couldn't put it out. It burns at mm. 3,100 degrees centigrade, elemental magnesium. Wow. So wow. it's a very intense element. Uh, it doesn't burn like a fire in your body, of course, but it is the, the ultimate fuel, and that's why this is one of those things that became at the top of the list and first and foremost needed by people to keep a nice, healthy equilibrium in their body. And there's right. so many functions. There's more than 300 enzymatic functions, you know, bioreaction functions in the body requiring magnesium. So when you're low, you're just not operating at your optimal. So what this is is actual, this is true energy. This is true energy creation. This isn't utilizing something that's going to stimulate the body from some kind of a external uh, temporary thing. This is actually creating an energy 
providing an energy system for the body. Is that an adequate way to put this? Yeah, you're nailing it on that because <clears throat> it does not jack you up at all or stimulate any kind of a false energy response. It does the exact opposite. It's called the relaxation mineral. And it doesn't mean that you're going to just go sleep. Now, you're going to sleep a lot better if you're magnesium replete, and you're going to have poorer sleep if you're magnesium deficient. But it is, it is a relaxer. So you're giving a deep level of real energy to the body when you're keeping everything up to, up to speed when it comes to magnesium repletion. So why is this, this whole magnesium? No, one of the things that I talked about at the very beginning was the fact that 80 to 90 percent of the population is deficient in, in magnesium and we live in very abnormal conditions and what we've evolved with as human beings why is this such a big issue more so than ever for us today in making sure that we're getting enough magnesium into our body why is this such a big issue well there are many different threats that are involved in not having enough magnesium for your body to utilize as a fuel uh, it affects you dynamically in every area it will affect you socially because you will be automatically anxious for no apparent reason uh, if you do not have enough magnesium. And therefore, you will be more reactive in your relationships with people. And you're not going to be able to handle the stress properly. The, your heart function, your brain function, your nervous system all critically depend upon magnesium for, for the fuel. So you're putting your health at risk, uh, even to the point of, of being you know, having something fatal happen if you get low enough. And so the crucial, it's just such a simple thing. You know, magnesium repletion is easy to do. Now, when you mentioned that a large population, large uh, percentage of the population is deficient, even those people that are taking magnesium supplements are deficient. And right. that is because most of the supplements are not absorbable. So the whole key to making money in an, in an industry is to make sure that the people have a great need all the time. So, you know, find a need, fill a need, but you don't really want to fill it because if you fill it, then they're not going to buy very much, right? So the idea is to get them to, to think they're filling a need. And I, I don't mean to say this in a bad way, but this is commerce, unfortunately. Most companies are in business to make money from their products rather than deliver the real value proposition to their clients. So... People are, are hurting their bodies by taking various magnesiums internally, and they remain deficient. They, they continue trying to find out why. Well, I take magnesium, and I still have all these symptoms. I don't understand. Or, or they take magnesium, they get relief, but then other things crop up. So this is a huge issue, and this is where, what we had to address. Well, let's dive in deeper on that. You know, you mentioned that it has some effects on your, your brain function, muscular function. So what are some of the things that magnesium is responsible for in our body specifically? Well, the, I guess the primary thing you would <clears throat> look at is from the top-down level, uh, you're looking at the enzymatic process. So more than 300 bioreaction functions in the body require magnesium. That's the start. So if, you're, if you don't have that supply, then the, the body has to go and find magnesium to make that work you need it in your blood. So people have low levels of magnesium in the blood, then that's going to affect heart rate, blood pressure, nervous function, uh, your ability, uh, your brain, like you got brain fog, people get headaches uh, because the brain has not got enough magnesium to use and it's, it's scrambling in the body to find out where to get it from. You know, it's going to pull it out of the bones, it's going to pull it out of the tissues <clears throat> where it really needs to be. Now, if, the, if it depletes what's in the tissues, then you get, that's where you get into danger to, to the point of fatality. Okay, so as far as function of magnesium in the body, it's called a, a natural tranquilizer or an anti-stress mineral. So it's going to relax the nerves. It relieves tension. It assists digestion. It's a big one there because it's actually stored in the digestive tract. It activates the enzymes, which are important for protein and carbohydrate metabolism. It modulates the electrical impulses across the cell membrane. So your, your cell membrane potential is dependent upon magnesium in the, in the system to use. So it's important in the production and transfer of energy, muscle contraction and relaxation. So, you know, people get uh, contracted muscles or, or tight muscles. It's all based on magnesium depletion. 
and also nerve conduction. So it aids regularity. It's necessary to keep the vertebrae in their proper position. You know, bones are entirely dependent. Your calcium-magnesium combination has to be in proper balance for your bones to be in good shape. Having magnesium in your body properly is going to induce restful sleep. It's not just that you, you can go to sleep. You want to have a deep, restful sleep. You want to get into deep delta sleep because you're producing your human growth hormone when you're in your deepest sleep between 2 and 4 in the morning. A lot of times people will wake up around 2 o'clock in the morning and they'll lay and toss in bed because of magnesium deficiency and they don't even know it. It also is used to purify and purge the body tissues, combating acids, toxins, gases, impurities, and it also works to neutralize poisons. And if, you, you know, if a person has a high fever, they get some magnesium in them, fever starts to go down. So magnesium is stored in the bowel, nerves, and ligaments, and in the bones. So that, that's really what's happening within the body, just sort of a, from a you know, 50,000 point view. Okay. That, well, this, I really want everyone to be able to, to grasp how important this mineral is. We really have a holistic view of things. We look at all the different things that interact together to create health. It's not just magnesium, but magnesium is definitely, I'm going to start calling it the, the king of minerals for sure because of all the things that it does. And just, you know, with you mentioning upwards of 300 metabolic enzymatic processes taking place, another way to phrase that for people mentally if they want to take a look at it like that would be opening up 300 plus detoxification channels in the body. So helping everything to, to work better, to improve the things that are you and to get rid of the things that are not you. This mm -hmm. is all very, very important. So, Ian, what I really want to go back to is you mentioned how magnesium is impacting our bones. And we recently did a, a really in-depth bone density podcast here at Be Well Buzz and addressing a lot of the misinformation about calcium building bones and how important it is and really understanding that magnesium plays a really critical part in that. Now, we want to look at things in a true holistic viewpoint, a true holistic perspective, and to be able to really understand that all these different minerals and vitamins and phytonutrients are working together in synergy. Now, however, with the information that you're providing here today and what I'm learning about is the fact that magnesium is really the king of minerals. It's the master mineral really controlling a lot of this stuff. So even though everything is important and should be working together synergistically, this one is critical. So I want to go back and touch on how important it is for your bone health because that's something that's a big issue in our modern culture today. Yeah, that's right. Now, you speak about a holistic approach to it. And in bone health, magnesium, even though magnesium is a very small percentage of what is made up in the bones, it is absolutely essential because the calcium will actually leach out of the bones if there's not a proper balance of magnesium. Right. So when, when the body gets depleted, the body pulls from the bones, and then you get a overcalcification, which ends up in things like osteoarthritis. And I learned about that. Uh, in a very simple way, when I first was receiving the product that we're going to be talking about today, which is the, the magnesium, transdermal magnesium, <clears throat> I had a, this guy handed me a bottle. And, he, and I said, what do I do with it? He goes, just spray it on your body wherever you think you need it. And I said, well, you know, what do I need that for? He said, well, just trust me, you know, if you have any aches or pains, put it on there. And so I thought he was handing me some kind of a painkiller spray. I've seen lots of those on the market. So I took it, and I had a left elbow that was aching all the time because it was more on a static when I was working on the computer. And it was a, a steady ache about 24 hours a day. And of course, that would go away when I went to sleep. But every day it was like that for several months leading up to this. So I sprayed it on my elbow and immediately, about a minute and a half after I put it on there, there was no pain. I thought, okay, cool, it's a painkiller. The next day, the pain was back, just the same as it was before. So I sprayed it again, the pain went away. And I did that every single day, that pain would come back to the same degree. And I just kept spraying it, and it would work for about 24 hours. And after seven weeks or so of that, I didn't keep exact track of the time, but it was around that time frame. I sprayed my elbow, the pain went away, and never came back. That was years ago. And I thought, boy, that's really weird. So I phoned the guy up that had given me the bottle, and I said, what's the deal with this? Why did that happen? 
because I explained it to him. He says, oh, yeah, you thought it was a painkiller, just like a lot of people do. He said, what was happening is when you sprayed it on your elbow, it went right into your capillary uh, system, you know, which is in your skin, and goes, it went right through and began to balance the calcium-magnesium imbalance that was in the body. And it happened to be your elbow because you were at the computer all the time, and your left elbow doesn't move much because you're not, not you, know, you know, it's just sitting on the keyboard. And you had become overcalcified. You're magnesium deficient. That's why that happened. And as that magnesium went in, it would make the, those calcium ions vibrate, the element, the elemental calcium that had built up there. That was putting pressure on the nerves that was causing the pain. They began to vibrate and loosen up a little bit, and then they would settle down because only a certain amount of magnesium could get there to begin to transport that calcium back to where it should be in the bones and relieving the symptom temporarily. Then the next day, of course, it had settled down again. You put the magnesium on it, got it up and active again. And after seven weeks or so of doing that, finally all the overcalcification in that part of your body was dissolved away and put back into its right place, and no pain was there anymore. So I said, okay, that's very interesting. So it was, you know, people, obviously, if they're getting uh, bone density issues, they're losing calcium out of the bones, and they have often arthritis problems that are, are, that are accompanying that. So getting the body into its homeostasis, or what I'll call homeodynamics, is having everything in equilibrium, and putting that right amount of magnesium in the system properly is going to rebalance everything so that everything functions well. It's not just a bone issue, it's an everything issue, because every cell in your body is dependent on the holistic balance of every, of every element, which is, you know, into the 92 elements. I have a personal experience, too, with this leaching of calcium. Back in 2000, I was diagnosed with degenerative disc disease, so my spine, my vertebrae was deteriorating as well as my discs, and the calcium was just getting pulled. And I remember the doctor um, telling me, and I was 20 years old at the time, telling me that I had the spine of an 80-year-old, and I was, you know, an aspiring athlete, and all my life was ahead of me, and everything looked good, and just like overnight, it's like, how could this even be possible? And, of course, going through the conventional treatment of this, nothing was, was done. You know, nothing could be done. That's what he told me the first day. He, he literally told me, sorry, son, there's nothing we can do. And I went through the motion, seeing all these different experts, and nobody could help me. And everything just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And then a book landed in my hand. It was actually called Acid Alkaline. Hmm. And it, it, it described exactly what happened to me, exactly, word for word that when your body's deficient in these alkaline minerals and your body's extremely acidic, it's going to leach calcium first from your hip and then from your spine. And I'd actually broke my hip doing a time trial running track. So it was like, huh. how in the world? Your body actually is working in a certain pattern. It's doing all this stuff with this hyperintelligence. It knows what it's doing. It's trying to actually save you. It's trying to aid in other processes. But if you're not providing the right balance, specifically, an alkaline mineral, that's what magnesium is, an alkaline mineral like magnesium, you're going to be in trouble, you know, because they actually work synergistically, as you keep mentioning, with calcium, you know, so it's really, really important. Now, the last, the last thing that you talked about was the fact that this was sprayed on, okay? So generally here at Be Well Buzz, we're talking about nutrition. We're also talking about some topical things as well, but why is topical magnesium so much more effective than dietary forms? Well, there's several reasons for that. We, you know, you can just try to take it from a common sense approach where you can say, all right, I want, you know, I have a problem in my ankle, for example. Uh, you know, I don't, but if I did. And then I would just spray that on my ankle, and it would go right into that area through the, the capillary system, which is inside the skin, transporting that into the bloodstream, and the, the body knows immediately, innately, intelligently where to put that magnesium at the most need. So if I would have taken it orally, my body would filter out, you know, 92% of it on average with my kidneys, causing my kidney stress. And then eventually some of it may make it down to where I want it to get to. So it's, it's one of those, when you do it topically, you're, you're immediately introducing it into the blood, bloodstream. The body takes it right to where it's supposed to go without going through the kidneys because it's used up before it would even get to the kidneys. And so you're, you're having the 100% bioavailability factor going on rather than an 8% bioavailability with having to deal with 92% waste. 
and it's it's the most pure way of doing it. Now you cannot just take any magnesium and spray it in your skin. In fact, it's not going to absorb 99% of the time because of all the different types of magnesium and forms that it comes in. So it is essential that the study and research be done, which we did, to make sure that the right element in the right form in the in the right at the right state <clears throat> is going to be put onto the skin to be effectively utilized by the body. You just mentioned the fact that this would bring stress to the kidneys and to help everybody to understand that this is very well known in the field of medicine that magnesium it's actually contraindicated for people with renal failure. You know, if they have kidney failure, you're not supposed to be playing around with magnesium unless you're under some um, pretty rigorous supervision because of the stress, the added stress that it brings to the system. You know, not saying that it's bad, it's just in the concentration that humans need today in our modern environment where we're exposed to literally billions of pounds of pollutants that have never existed before in human history are dumped into our society, into our modern civilization worldwide every single year. This is some new stuff, you know, all these different uh, synthetic chemi chemicals that are created every single year, we're exposed to a tremendous amount of stress. That's an external stressor. And going back to what you first talked about is, you know, we have mental stress, we have physical stress, we have emotional stress, relationship stress, financial stress, our dietary stress that we're putting on our body, and just the environmental stress, period. There's so much going on there that we need a tremendous amount of magnesium to really keep things in balance. And it's just the way it is now. You know, I would love to feel that we can just get this from the food that we're eating, but we live in very abnormal conditions, all of us. Even if we're eating the best diet in the world, we're still exposed to so much toxicity. And we want to make sure that we're shoring ourselves up so that we can be around long enough to help to usher in the next stage of our human evolution and the next stage of health and happiness. We can't do that if we're suffering because we don't want to employ some of these great new inventions that are coming out to help us get there. And I hope that makes sense to everybody. So one of the other things I want to mention, because of that contraindication with renal failure that it's well known in the medical industry, it's also well known that magnesium has a lot of other uses. And Ian, I, I think you could probably chime in on this, but one of the things is um, individuals coming in, you know, if they're going to have an operation and they need to clear their bowels out, you know, to really cleanse their system. Historically, they prescribed some kind of magnesium supplement, like milk of magnesia, for example. So is any of that stuff going to go on when you're taking a magnesium supplement as far as, like, uh, the regulation of your digestive system? Well, definitely, yeah. There's a bowel intolerance issue when it comes to orally ingested magnesium. Uh, they, they would, you know, prescribe a bottle of magnesium sulfate, and somebody would drink it and have, Peristaltic, peristaltic action within, you know, 10 minutes. They're going to dump everything that's in their bowels out. What that does, it also super depletes the body of other minerals, which is the last thing you ever want. You never want to hit bowel intolerance with anything, whether it's vitamin C or magnesium or, or anything. So that is only under specific extreme cases where they have to, like you say, going into an operation. Uh, you also mentioned renal failure. And even if anybody has any issues, with weak kidneys, they are told do not take any oral magnesium at all, and like unless, like you said, unless it's under strict supervision, because the the kidneys are stressed. Well, what that tells you is that healthy kidneys do not like to have to process magnesium at any time. So it's it's one of those things where we, we had to look at that very seriously and say, okay, what what can we do if we're going to actually deliver value to the client? To the end user who really wants to get a benefit without any kind of side effects, what is the most efficient way of doing it? Well, the largest organ in your body is on your body, which is your skin. And it is every speck of your skin has a, a super matrix of, of the capillaries. And you can nick your body just anywhere with a little, you know, if you get nicked anywhere, you always bleed right away. So that tells you that blood is immediately available there. So putting a certain type of magnesium, which we will call uh, the scientific term is magnesium chloride hexahydrate, that means a magnesium extracted from seawater. It comes from water. 
and goes back to our body, which is 80% uh, electrolytic fluid, whether it's blood or lymphatic or uh, interstitial fluids, whatever. And it so when you if you go in, there's magnesium abundant all over the planet that is mined. It's a it's a waste product from nickel mining. It's sitting in uh, different deposits here, there, or wherever. Anywhere you have magnesium sitting for a period of time in a deposit to the open to the open atmosphere, you're going to have a massive amount of pollution. And so the there has to be a very careful extraction process uh, done with that magnesium in order to certify it pure, and that would, that would take it to a pharmaceutical grade level, meaning that you could take it and put it into solution in the hospital, which they use for re-nutrifying a body. A very small percentage of that magnesium is put into the intravenous uh, bags where you're on an IV, and that level of magnesium is what's required, that purity level is like 99.999% pure. So when you take it to the lab and you have it analyzed in a certificate of analysis, it shows up as only having magnesium chloride hexahydrate. Now, the key to that is it's a structured magnesium with six water molecules, which immediately resonates with the body. And it is absorbable. It's the only one that's absorbable through the skin. Other magnesium chlorides, which are from mining uh, waste products like nickel mining, there's many products in the market that they sell as transdermal magnesium that are far from pure. They have many other elements you don't want. They just sit on top of the skin and do little to no good at all. Uh, they, they may bring heat to that area of the body, which will increase circulation to that part of the body, uh, appearing to have some relief, but all it did was stimulate uh, an irritant. It, was, it becomes an irritant on the skin, and the body goes, I don't like that, and it sends blood, and it's itchy and kind of burny and not nice. That's, that's all that's doing. It's like a placebo thing by causing more circulation, which is a help, but it, the magnesium itself is actually not going to do much. So when you have magnesium in the right state, it will go into the body completely bioavailable in the right amount. Now, you don't need a lot of magnesium going into your body. In fact, if you take too much magnesium, you'll have a heart attack. Now, you, you, you're not going to give your body a heart attack by putting it into the skin because it's regulated, and the body can totally regulate that. And nobody's like, you know, we, we've done experiments where we've done a massive amount of this magnesium into the skin after a, a warm shower or a warm bath. And, you know, it may make you a little bit kind of lightheaded. That's about it. If you do a really, really massive amount, like a liter of it or something, you know, which is over the top. Wow. So on two ends of the spectrum, this can tremendously help your heart. But at the same time, if you're not doing this the right way, it can actually damage your heart, like permanent checkout kind of damage. I'm really curious about how fast does this actually work? You know, by putting it on topically, how fast does this stuff start working on you? Well, most people report back to us about a minute and a half to two minutes. Uh, uh -huh. Sometimes people know, you have to wait three minutes. But like, if somebody's anxious, for example, they're just feeling anxious and they're, they're upset or they're just nervous, within three minutes they're calm. They're, like, happy. they got a little smile on their face. They're, they're giggling a bit, you know. And they're going, oh, that's cool. I, I had a guy that was on really heavy meds for anxiety attacks, and it was just messing him up, you know, him and his daughter both down in New York. And when I met him, I said, hey, you know what, just try some of this stuff. I gave him some bottles just to play with because it was such an extreme case. I thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to really test it out. And he said, well, should I get off my meds? And I said, under no circumstances do you get off your meds. You don't you know, dare to do anything without you know, a physician consultation. But I said, what you do is you start putting this in and put it into your upper chest area where it's convenient for you so you don't have to have your clothes off or anything because it doesn't stain, it has no odor, and it goes right in. And I said, you know, every few hours, grab the bottle, give yourself about 15 shots of this, and just rub it around a couple of times with your hand. It'll go right in and just see how you feel. So he, that day, he noticed a significant change. Now, he was still on his meds, but he noticed a difference. He felt better. He just had an overall better feeling. And he came back and told me about it. And I said, well, you know, nothing feels as good as feeling good, and this stuff is a feel-good element, so enjoy. It took him about a month of doing that, and he called me back, and he said, you're not going to believe this, but both myself and my daughter are off our meds. He said, I did what you said. I didn't change anything. I just went as I, as I felt I could not have more and more. 
he kept reducing his meds and meds and reducing them to see how he felt because he, he could tell immediately if he was getting an anxiety attack. And this guy was so bad that if he had an attack and he was downtown, for example, driving his car, it was one of those deals where he's like phoning his wife and just come and get me because I can't, I'm dysfunctional. It was at that level. So when, we, when I saw that happen, I went, yeah, wow, this, this stuff is profoundly powerful. That's just a testament to how important this mineral is. And I, I've already gotten a chance to use this product. And I was just curious of whether or not it was some kind of a placebo effect because within three to five minutes for me, I felt this sort of, it wasn't like a, a rush of energy, but it was something like that. You know, I felt really centered. I felt really good. All of a sudden, I just started feeling really good. And I went on to, you know, just doing a bunch of work and this whole thing. And I was, because I usually feel good anyways, but I felt it was a different feeling. It just, I felt this sense of presence and a heightened state of energy, but it's not something that is supposed to increase your energy, so-called, but what it's doing is just clearing up the channels in your body so that you actually feel more energetic. I guess that would be the way to put it. So that makes complete sense because I was wondering how in the world after just, you know, three three minutes I can start feeling so good. And another thing that I noticed was I already sleep great. However, we have a new baby boy, and he's just turned five months now, and he slept, you know, eight to ten hours most of uh, him being here on the planet. However, some nights it wasn't like that, and my sleep patterns were a little screwy sometimes, and my sleep quality was changed because of just that parenting ear, just listening for him, you know. So what I've noticed in the past few days since taking uh, this particular magnesium is my sleep quality is amazing. I mean, just I am full on sleeping. Just I am so in it and waking up feeling good. And actually today, just another little testament about it is that today I got the least amount of sleep that I've gotten in a long time. And I feel amazing. I feel like I've slept, you know, um, eight to ten hours. I feel great because of the quality of my sleep. And, of course, I eat really well and I can do these things from time to time and not suffer consequences. So I'm not saying don't sleep, but this this product is really having some impacts on me. And so w what are some of the other benefits that people will notice when taking this magnesium infusion? Well, what, what happened, another uh, really interesting thing evolved with one woman. Now, what I find is that people, to take something consistently, they, they almost have to have a problem to do it, you know, because we, we tell people, listen, you, you, you know that magnesium deficiency is a problem. You should spray it on every morning after you have a shower or every day at some point, maybe after a bath or just every day anyway, whatever, you know, you can put it on any time. But people will, will do it and they won't do it or they'll forget. And, and, but people that have had extreme problems, and we had one girl, she actually worked for one of the distributors that, was, that has been selling this product for a long time. And this happened three years ago. She got so excited. She wanted to wait until I came for a visit before she told me she wanted to tell me when I was there personally rather than on the phone. And when I got there, they said, hey, you got to go talk to Amber. And so I said, well, what's up? She goes, oh, she got a story for you. So I went and I spoke with her, and she said, you know, <clears throat> I had a, she was about 27 years old, and she had had an injury in high school that damaged her shoulder, and it had ached and it was very painful for her. And so somebody, you know, said, well, look, get this magnesium and put it on because she had heard my thing about the elbow when I told some of the staff there about, you know, the benefits that I knew at that time and that it got rid of the pain after seven weeks. So she had the shoulder problem. She was spraying it on, and it, it was not relieving the pain the way it worked on my elbow. For some reason, the pain didn't go away and then come back every day. It just, it just sort of slowly, slowly, slowly went away until the shoulder pain was completely gone. That took her two and a half months. And that was not what she was excited about. She said, I'll tell you what this did. And unknown to me, she said, I was just putting it on my shoulder. Ever since I've had my menstrual cycle, she told me, I have always been down for four days. There'd be four days during my, the period that I couldn't get out of bed. It was like cramped so bad I couldn't work. And so she always had this four days downtime every month. And she said, now... After putting the magnesium on my shoulder, it fixed that problem. I almost have no issues at all during my cycle because she was religiously putting it on every day, you know, a few times a day at work and at home and so on. And, 
ended up having a total rebalancing of her menstrual cycle so that she was not having the heavy bleeding and the, the, the heavy cramps. And she said, that has changed my life. She said, thank you so much. For that. So that was one of, the, one of the big things that we saw happen. And I'm glad that you brought balance there because my experience was a really kind of an instant thing. And you're bringing up the fact that it's not like that for everybody. Sometimes it's a cumulative effect. As a matter of fact, it's always a cumulative effect. It's the thing that you do as your daily rituals that really create the course and direction and the experience of life that everyone's having. You know, but I have a really sensitive system, and I noticed that there was something definitely going on with this. However, it's, it's really looking at this in a really intelligent fashion, that there is no magic pill. It isn't something that just gives you some magical energy, however it kind of does, but it's really the cumulative effect in helping to balance things out in your system. And for me, could this have possibly been one of the other things that I found out about uh, with, with your product was that it increases the serotonin production is one of the things that magnesium is needed for. Do you think that might have had something to do with it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's that's going to have a, an immediate uh, impact upon the body, uh, and you know, we and we have had responses all over the map. We've had people that have put it on that felt nothing. In fact, uh, people expected it to remove pain, and it did nothing. Other people were blown away. They said, "What is that stuff?" Because it would be like thirty seconds, and their neck pain they'd had for the last five years was was gone. So, it is all over the map. I think it, it just depends on the person's certain circumstance, and everybody's so different. But we do know right. that this is one of those elements that every single person is going to benefit from regardless of their circumstance. That, right. you know, there's going to be multiple advantages that they're going to get in their health by simply adding magnesium into their skin. And the beautiful thing about it is they don't get the side effect. You know, there's zero side effects with this. Uh, when people first are getting used to it, sometimes it might be a little bit tingly, but that goes away very quickly. Well, what we do know is that this is effective. We know that it's effective, and we also know that our body is far more intelligent than any human being thinks they are on the planet. It knows what to do once it gets access to these bodybuilding components. So your pain that you might be experiencing, your body might need that magnesium to help to uh, build some better blood or help to nourish your bones or help with uh, the serotonin production, for example, and seeing that as a top priority rather than a, a pain you might be having. However, your body might know that this pain is actually bringing you down to a level where you might be more susceptible to, you know, to die or to not being able to, to, to be healthy and to prosper. Your body knows what to do with it. We know that this stuff is effective, and we know, based on what you share with us today, and I want to thank you so much for coming on and sharing this, that this is coming from a natural source, the process, is ultra purifying it and it's just highly highly effective and some of the things that Ian has shared with us today that I just want to kind of recap is the fact that this magnesium is going to help to fortify our bones and joints it's going to help to enhance our overall state and rate of healing so that expedited healing it's going to help to relax muscle spasms and one of those big markers if you're dealing with, dealing with um, muscle spasms with your eyelids or twitching there you're magnesium deficient, so that's something to look into. Uh, uh, helping to eliminate pain from exercise, arthritis, things like that. And one of the most important things that you talked about was nourishing the nervous system, period. Um, the increased energy production, because this is directly linked up with ATP, by the way, for people out there. Uh, regulating blood pressure. Obviously, the, the menstrual cycle we just talked about, and for myself personally, uh, increasing serotonin production. So this stuff is really, really hitting the mark. And, Ian, you're going to be giving away a free report on magnesium that's covering a lot of this stuff, and we're going to actually put it with the podcast so everybody can get that for free. And exclusively for Be Well Buzz, Ian is actually giving us 10% off of this magnesium product for the next seven days. So the code is going to be Be Well Buzz. So you're just going to put the code in, and you'll be able to get 10% off of this magnesium infusion right now. So take advantage of that. This stuff is full on. It's really, really an excellent product. And that's one of the things that I really respect about you, Ian, is that you take your products and you put it through 
the you put it through the fire, you put it to the test. You go and get the studies done on it. You actually go and look at and get this, you know, the certifications that this stuff is is pure and it's the real deal. You know, it's one of the things I really respect about you. And is there anything else that you want to share on the product before we go? Oh, well, you pretty much covered it, Sean. And I like the fact that you mentioned the whole uh, blood sugar balance thing with working in the system that way is in ATP production. It's crucial for those things. We didn't have time to really get into that side of things, but that's another. And, you know, people can go online and just type in magnesium studies or magnesium deficiency and all those things, and they'll find right away a massive amount of information that has been accumulated. Those books have been written by many uh, scientists and doctors, and it's just a really uh, abundant resource of information. So the bottom line is, uh, we want to have the highest possible quality of every second of every day in our life. And this is one of those things that brings, it's just a piece of the puzzle that's a really crucial part for that, to have that you know experience in this life. Absolutely. Well, everybody, first step, take advantage, get the free report, and get your hands on this product, 10% off for the next seven days, exclusively for Be Well Buzz. And the code again, Be Well Buzz. I want to thank you again, Ian, for coming on and sharing your wisdom. This is Sean Stevenson signing off for Be Well Buzz, and we'll talk with you soon. Thanks for listening to the BeWellBuzz.com podcast. Go to www.BeWellBuzz.com for free articles and news about natural health and wellness.